Hey guys. Sorry, I was looking at the molecular biology through the microscope, but also, actually, now that I'm on the topic of that, remember to put on your safety goggles every time you are conducting an experiment. Anyways, today we are going to talk about the structure of the heart. Why? Because last time one of you commented that you guys have an exam coming up and you would be very happy if I did a video about the whole structure of the heart. So today we are going to talk about just that. So here is the heart and before talking about this whole structure, we are first going to talk about the blood that comes into the heart through, from the lungs and out of the heart to the lungs. So on top, here is the blood that comes from the lungs and it goes in and there's, a, there's an imaginary vein that you couldn't see but it would go here. This is the left atrium and it would go through this which is this triscupid valve and to here, the left ventricle and it will come out through the superior vena cava this is the superior vena cava and here is the blood that comes to the lungs so it goes to the lungs and where does that blood come from? it comes from here this is the right atrium and it goes through the bicupid valve some of you could call it the mitral valve but both are referring to the same thing and here we'll go through the bicupid valve and it is here the right ventricle and it will go out to the lungs so that is and here is the aorta and i mentioned last time that there are three arteries that goes to different parts of your bodies including your kidney and all that your brain as well and remember if you guys haven't um watched the video I did last time about the aorta, remember to go watch it now. And that's pretty much it about what I'm going to talk about today. So remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you so much for watching Junior Dr. Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. See you next time!